Hey guys, uh, here I have with me the Moto G4 Plus and the OnePlus One which was my daily driver for past one year and Moto G4 currently I am testing here uh, so I thought it would be a great idea to uh, give you a speed test comparison between these two handset because I really love the Moto G4 uh, Plus uh, because it's a very fast phone in my opinion so without further ado I'm gonna do a full uh, speed test as I do uh, with other phones as well. Uh, I generally uh, do not like to um, give you like synthetic benchmark results or any speed test comparison with the uh, app. I just want to uh, use it uh, just like a normal person do in everyday life with their phones and I'll give you uh, uh, my personal opinion on that. So let me first uh, going to launch uh, a lot of applications and uh, as you can see there is no application running in the background so there is a free and I have freshly rebooted uh, both the devices uh, let's start up without any further ado let's start up with the multiple apps so let's open Instagram first so I think Instagram launched first on no it's still loading so let's see which one loads first Okay, uh, it's kind of tied, let's say, but the Instagram app actually launched uh, first on the Moto G4 Plus. Uh, let's launch uh, Facebook. Okay, Facebook is, uh, okay, Moto G4 Plus is the winner right here. Uh, let's launch Gmail. I think Moto G4 Plus. Uh, let's launch Twitter. Again, Moto G4 Plus. Uh, let's launch uh, Amazon. This time, I would say the OnePlus One. The Moto G4 Plus is a really fast phone, guys. Let's launch Google Play Music. So, OnePlus One is uh, ahead of in this uh, Google Play Music. Uh, let's launch Camera. It's a very important thing. Yeah, the let's test the camera again. I didn't notice it. Okay, uh, I guess it's a tie, pretty much tie. So let's launch uh, Flipkart, Moto G4 Plus. It's a huge name, guys. Let's launch Snapdeal. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's launch Snapdeal. Moto G4 Plus again. Um, let's launch Studio. Uh, this one is actually Creator Studio. I think this time one plus one. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Let's launch Aftership Moto G4 Plus. I think I don't have any heavy game here in my uh, OnePlus One, so I'll continue with the apps itself. So let's launch Free Charge OnePlus One here. Let's launch uh, Ghana. Okay, Ghana launched uh, first on these uh, Moto G4 Plus. Let's launch Google Fit. Okay, one plus one. Let's launch Share It. Tie here. Uh, let's launch Super Beam. One plus one. Uh, let's see what else we have. Let's launch this app called uh, Voot. One plus one. So let's check out the uh, RAM management because both the handset have a uh, three gigabyte of RAM. And let's see which one has uh, loaded these uh, apps in the background better. Uh, let's see Instagram 
okay both this phone has instagram in the memory so both this phone is actually very good in memory management but in terms of battery backup and standby battery backup the moto g4 plus goes ahead it's it, it's having a better battery life i don't know why uh, how motorola has optimized it but uh, i can get uh, up to two days of battery backup with the help of this moto g4 plus but i get only four to five hours of battery backup with the one plus one let's see facebook both of there are in the background let's see twitter again both are in the background let's launch amazon both are there um let's see flipkart both are there in the background but i would say the moto g4 plus is launching the fast a little bit far uh, ahead i would say it's nothing much both are really neck to neck let's uh, play or let's launch a play store and see which one loads faster moto g4 plus let's launch youtube Again, Moto G4 Plus. Uh, Plus. So I would say, if you are considering to be used with, uh, you know, um, internet-based apps, this uh, Moto G4 Plus will uh, goes ahead. Let's uh, test the, uh, you know, speed test of both the handset and show you how good is the speed test here uh, with my Wi-Fi. I don't have any um, miraculously fast Wi-Fi, but that also because my router is very near to the table so first test with the one plus one and let's see the results i think in my uh which i feel that the moto g4 plus will goes ahead in this wi-fi test because the moto g4 plus has a better wi-fi reception i would say in my day-to-day -day uses i have noticed it Now, let's test with Moto G4 Plus. So as you can see, they are pretty much same. I would say in terms of download speed, uh, the One Plus One goes a little ahead, but in terms of upload speed, the Moto G4 Plus goes a little bit ahead. I would say so, a more or less same kind of Wi-Fi performance. And let's see how good is the OK Google detection and how uh, they respond to my uh, questions. OK Google, what's the weather like? It's 27, it's 27 degrees, degrees with haze in Uttar Parakotra. Both are same. Let's see. Okay, Google. How old is the Taj Mahal? The Taj Mahal, the Taj Mahal is 368 years old. This time, one plus one gave answer first. Let's. Uh... Okay, Google. How long is the Howrah Bridge? Bridge has a length of Power 705 meters. Of 705 meters. So the one plus one gave me first. Let's see again. Okay, Google. Um, what's the height of Empire State Building? 381 meters. 443 so meters to 10. Plus didn't catch the voice well. I would say. Um, okay, Google. Who's the president of? America. Barack Obama, Obama is the president, president of the United States of America. America. So both are really good, I would say. But uh, in my test, I would say one plus one is a little fast on Google Now reception. Let's test uh, the uh, audio also. Um, let me play a same kind of uh, music on both the. Phone. In the better way, uh, how can we not 
So definitely the OnePlus One has a better uh, speaker. I, would, I won't say it's better, but uh, I would definitely say that OnePlus One has a louder speaker than uh, the Moto G4 Plus. Um, so, but the uh, headphone performance is really same. So that's all I think. Uh, in my opinion, the Moto G4 Plus and OnePlus One is a very similar kind of performing device. Uh, but I personally like Cyanogen mod, so I would still prefer OnePlus One over a uh, Moto G4 Plus. But it's a personal preference. If you like uh, purely stock Android, uh, then uh, OnePlus One a little bit of uh, customized uh, OS Cyanogen. Then uh, go ahead with the uh, one, uh, this uh, Moto G4 Plus. And I would say, guys, this Moto G4 Plus has one of the best fingerprint sensor I've ever seen. You just have to tap and it will unlock it's just much faster than iphone 5s it's even faster than iphone 6s uh, gadgets portal uh, the channel gadgets portal just reviewed uh, and compared with the iphone 6s fingerprint sensor and this moto g4 plus just beat the iphone 6s uh, in no time so i would say it's an excellent phone excellent camera 100 times better camera than one plus one here in uh, moto g4 plus uh, the moto g4 plus is also splash resistance and has um, uh, uh, it, it should be updated to Android N and, and Android O as well, I think. So, if you are considered to be buying this uh, Moto G4 Plus, do get the 3GB variant because if you want to keep the phone for, you know, more than one year, it should be good for, because... 3 gigabyte RAM is now going to be the future. 3 or 4 gigabyte of RAM. So I'll put a li link in the description below where you will be able to find this uh, buying link of the Moto G4 Plus as well as uh, the OnePlus One. Use my link, it will help the channel. And I'll put all these uh, links in the description below of the Moto G4 Plus unboxing and first impression and camera review, detailed camera review. Do check the camera review, guys. I have made a very, very detailed camera review with video recording and stabilizations explanation as well. So thank you for watching this video, guys. If you have any questions, queries, let me know in the comment section and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Share this video among your friends and I'll hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.